Hello and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. How you doing? I've been kind of neglecting this episode. Not neglecting, but pushing off. Have some uh, hesitation in doing it because it almost certainly marks a little bit of an end of an era here. With Bray very close to that legend status, she's the only check mark we've got left. It might be a little while before we make our way back toward the darkest dungeon here, but all the same, we'll do what we can to best prepare ourselves for the upcoming tortures. So let's do it. Start off by seeing what kind of missions we can embark on today. Of course, there's a possibility that Bray gets killed and this all ends up being a completely pointless eulogy, but you know, gather three grain sacks. The swine's appetite for comestibles exceeds even their thirst for blood. Winter is always close, and the hamlet would do well to restock its sparse larder. That's a new one. We could do that. That sounds like fun, actually. Yeah, okay. We found a new fun thing to do today. Neat. I'm kind of considering bringing uh, Fushou out for another, for another quest here. Can't quite decide. We have pretty much free reign over who we choose to bring out, although I could try to level these guys up too. That's not a terrible idea. So what if we were to go with, uh... How about something like Mortagne? We could do another double occultist, although I don't quite like that as much these days. I'm thinking we go Mortagne, Fouchot, and then uh, Bray and Roussel. That way we have a self-bleed heal on our Hellion that we could utilize. I believe, yeah, Adrenaline Rush should take care of that. And then we've got positional switching in the form of Fushal and Bray, who can both move quite a bit in case we get shuffled around. Yeah, I like that. I like that well enough. Let's do that. Make sure they've got some good trinkets. It looks like he's gonna do just fine. She's got some awesome stuff. Roussel's rocking the Hell's hairpin and double-edged pendant, which I do enjoy. And we've got some defensive stats for our Jester. Okay. I think that's good enough for me. Let's do it, man. The final crew, perhaps, for this... For this point in our journey. We're gonna go gather some grain sacks and... Pray for the best for the future. Light her up in the front slot. I think Bray is gonna have to occupy the second. She's gonna have to swap with the Jester, actually, so I'm not 100% sold on this. She can do most of her moves from the second position. Of course, the Shadow Fade Lunge combo is gonna be what we might utilize a lot. What's he got from the second slot? Quite a few options, I think, especially if we... I think we might even give him Harvest again. That could work pretty well. If we took off the Inspiring Tune and only kept it on when we planned on using some Stress Heal, we could give him that AoE Bleed, and that might be pretty effective. Yeah, we could do that. I'm okay with this. Okay, let's do it. Off we go. And in the spirit of giving, and or purchasing, let's do another full four stacks of food today. Because the occultist being the lone healer, I'm a little skeptical about it. Bring a couple of each of these things, three of each of the uh, ailment cures, and a full stack of shovels, a couple of herbs, and the solitary key which gets us through our days. We adventure one more time into the depths of the Warrens. Let's do it. Oh, never mind, game froze. Alright, it's all over. Sorry. <laughs> Lost it. There it is. Even the fiercest beast will lay down when it is not eaten. Steal their food. Oh, alright. This does sound very new. I think this might actually be a new quest. Which is fun. Get to experience something new for the, uh... Quote unquote finale. Bam, 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 bam. Pretty straightforward route there. Good dodge in the first trap as well. I think we're gonna do just fine with these guys. I think we've got a a solid composition here. Even though we don't have any negative quirks to remove for the most part on these fellers and lady fellers. Well, I don't know. I guess Bray could use some help. Do we ever take off soft? I think she's still got soft, doesn't she? No, she's got all co sorts of, uh, stress relief ailments here. Not a bad start, so we're looking for grain here. Torches are not a bad find, either. 
We don't have any moon cloaks, do we? I might have considered grabbing those for one of our crew members here. Maybe even Bray could have rocked that. She could have been very defensive minded. I'm liking the early scouts here as well. Thank you, game. Giving us some early aid here. Alright, first fight. Two cutthroats and a fusilier. Shouldn't be too big of a deal, especially considering we have the harvest available now. But could battle ballad to start and maybe even do a breakthrough. That seems like it could be pretty effective here. We've got a lot of AoE damage with this composition and uh, not too much healing. Some good stress relief, good buffs, good dodge chances, good stuns. Overall, it's not bad. We can always swap the occultist out for a frontline occultist and get the jester healing and buffing in the backline, too. So, good options with this one. Good options, especially if I want to consider that occultist stun. And try to reduce this guy's accuracy. There we go, that's going to help us out quite a bit. I don't think we're going to be able to kill him before the cutthroats, because the cutthroats kind of take priority. Oh my god, come on. The math there is flawed. Whatever. Oh god, that's the worst result possible. That's such a massive damage debuff, too. Damn it. Alright, we gotta try to kill this guy. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Stacking up bleeds, I suppose, is a pretty damn good option, too. Especially if we can kill this guy with this attack. Surges as the enemy crumbles. We just gotta wait out the debuff, basically. I don't know, man. Breakthroughs, I really... I'm still not sold on them completely. She's doing really good damage, my goodness. Bray is... Bray is a contributor to any composition. That much, I think, we've solidified through our experiences here. Well done. Alright, already filling up our inventory here. Let's go ahead and just eat a full stack of food, get back up to full strength, maybe. There we go. Let me take the bus. Probably not going to hang on to those, but I think I'd rather just take them right now than not be back up to full health. I mean, that alone is probably worth the 12 food we just consumed, so we'll call it good there. Sack of grain, perhaps? No, but that is an opportunity to utilize our campfire for means that probably do not help us as much as using it for the normal purpose, so maybe we don't do that. Who knows? Oh, shit. Reeling. About to break. Oh, boy. Hey, nice. Good dodge. Good dodges by the team. Let's go ahead and buff up with a battle ballad real fast here. Gonna cure her bleed and also maybe go for a breakthrough. Let's go ahead and wrap that up before I forget. Flashing daggers is not bad here. Okay, and then a breakthrough is not gonna help us as much as I wanted it to, so let's instead go for a kill on the champion. Nice! Well struck. Great crit. Not really a necessary crit, but good for the stress relief early on. Let's... Ooh, I could have abyssal artillery right here. Uh, let's go for a heal instead. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. More AoE. Uh, the Jester might even take this opportunity to go for a bleed here, although the Heaver... Oh, if we had landed that, that's a good chance for the bleed out to kill him. They've got a decent bleed resist, but nothing special. Alright, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that could have killed him here if we'd landed that shot. Ooh. That's unfortunate. Good resistance is all around here, too. A breakthrough might be my best bet if I can deal seven damage to this guy. Likely chance to do that, too. Let's try it. Not enough. Ah, oh, we did get the kill on the... on the feller in the middle there, though. Alright, that's not the worst thing that could have happened. That's only a little bit of stress. Not too bad. Got him with the bleed in the second round as well. Does not dissuade the sharpened blade. And that's not gonna be enough, so I think instead we maybe give... a couple of other teammates a chance for the crit strike. Ooh, didn't get it there. And he's gonna get another bleed attempt. Please don't do it. Nice. Debuff still applying. This might be enough. Oh, it's not gonna be enough damage. Maybe we can get the stun and maybe even buff up a little bit for another crit strike chance and a heal opportunity. For minimal gain, but better than nothing, I guess. No crits, but we're alive. As victories mount, so too will resistance. With another double edged pendant. Do I wanna keep that? It's probably better than the busts, honestly. So let's let's dispose of these. Take this. I kind of like that trinket, so I'll keep it. Now, do we use the firewood here for the uh, for the buff, or do we just keep it for you know smart things? I think I'm leaning toward the latter here. Wow, we've got a full scout, and none of these rooms contain anything, which means the th things we're looking for must be like in the hallways, which means I should probably look through this hallway before we leave on the off chance that this item is what we are searching for. 
It's a possibility. Sax contents are yours, not what we needed. I don't think I need the emerald, but it's probably more valuable than the portrait, so we'll do that. Yeah, we're gonna have to go all the way through here and then double back, which is not the worst thing, because again, we're here, we are fighting best in the pitch blackness of deathly night. Deathly night. And now, the darkness holds dominion. Black as death. That's what he says. I couldn't remember. Black as death. It's pretty racist. All right. Here we go. Clear that out. Yeah, a lot of empty, uh, a lot of empty rooms here starting to make me weary about which direction I'm choosing to go. And again, though, I don't think the grain sacks have to be inside of a room. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Ooh, they should give us some extra food here, actually. Nice. Well, beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. And somebody was mentioning I can, yeah, now I can just click directly from the treasure box. Whatever it is that I found, and I can just use the uh, extra food that way. As opposed to trying to, you know, do the little juggling dance of getting the inventory space cleared out. I don't think I need two more food and we don't need that trinket for sure, but that is nice. That is a nice update. Little things like that that I didn't even realize I wanted, but are definitely desirable upon finding out that they exist. Quite good. Alright, stress is looking fine still. And plenty of food again, three full stacks just now. Taking that down to about, uh, what was that? 31 food left, I guess. I'm gonna check every single hallway because I don't want to have to double back all the way through here just to find that last sack of grain. Let's see if we get it here. Possible... Ah, uh, 550 gold. Okay, well. Again, still my strongest bet to just double back and go all the way to the other room just because you don't want to walk backward that far. Now we've scouted this hallway, so it's not gonna be in there, which means I'm probably better off just going back this way and trudging up the halls. Sort of like, oh man, another eating proc. That's no good. So we'll go this way and then go up here to the right, down, and then probably back to the left. Just to try to search through everything. This is going to be unfortunate because we got a lot of empty rooms, which means there's a high chance that one of the things we're looking for is going to be in a hallway. So we do just have to make these journeys, unfortunately. And we're going to run into another hallway fight here as well. Oh, nice, we got the scout. Okay, so we got a decent chance of finding it this way. Unfortunately, two hallway fights block the path. Let's see if we can handle this. A quick vomit to start the day. Well done, sir. Let's flashing daggers in response. Oh! Devastating blow. That is how we do it, friend. A breakthrough a will, will seal the deal along with potentially a Dirk stab. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like it if it stacks twice, especially. Ooh, hee 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 hee. Oh boy. Uh, oh, they switch positions, which means... Tell you what, if I can do enough damage with this... Possible that the breakthrough could kill here. We also have a decent chance to crit, but I think I'd rather do this. We can get a critically striking breakthrough off of this attack. Or we could try... No, it's only gonna target him. Let's do this. Nice. Alright, alright. Now I'm thinking Dirk Staff probably would have been better, but we got the extra crit strike out of that, too. If we did a Yop, actually, that's not a bad idea. Because that definitely kills him. 90% chance to hit, and we have a 24% crit strike chance against 70% stun resist to 165. Pretty much a guarantee. Yeah, I'll take that debuff for the sake of not having to take any more damage from this entire fight. That's fantastic. I should have repaired the bleed there, don't worry about it, I just made a huge mistake. Not a big deal. And he's gonna go down. Oh, one hit point left. Please tell me he's not gonna get the first attack. Here we go. That works. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. All right, so we can repair this and then probably just eat for food and make some space for this giant stack of money that we need to make room for. Uh, that's not what we needed to do at all. There we go. All right. Not bad. Have we scattered this entire hallway? It's possible we didn't, but I don't think there's any more treasure in here. And I didn't repair the bleed, did I? No, I did repair the bleed. Okay. I'm thinking straight now. Alright, please tell me we're gonna find at least one sack of grain in these boxes. Yeah, there we go! 
Sack of uneaten grain, the object of your search. All right, so let's go ahead and dump off. Uh, probably don't need the herbs anymore. I think we've gotten plenty of food. Let's go ahead and do that. Another torch. Wow. Well, hopefully we can find some scrolls laying around here. A swarm of bulbous maggots. My arch enemy, the maggot. Not like a dragon or a black knight or something. No, no, no. The maggots are far more deadly. With their adorable little bites and their nasty wart things on their backs. My mortal foe. Let's kill them. Harvest! Oh, you're not supposed to miss anything ever, you dipnard. Be gone, fiend. Alright. Uh, if it bleeds, let it die. Alright, one left. Of course he's gonna get the first attack because he's a maggot. Gotta give him some sort of advantage, I guess. No stun either, but that's okay. We got that dodge buff for no purpose whatsoever. Good heal, though. There we are. Hooray! This expedition at least promises success. Hey, you say that now, don't you? All right, well, luckily we can just double back real fast after checking out this hallway for a potential item. We got another scout, too. All right, so maybe all the remaining grains are to this end. Possible. Crate is empty here. All right, so I guess we're doubling back. In the door we go. And, uh, you know what? I'm going this way. I've made an executive order, and I'm ignoring those books because I know what happens when I touch them. Bad, bad men come to take away my, my baby for reading. What are you doing learning there, boy? We ain't paying you to learn. Oh, we're paying you to crit. Yes. <laughs> oh, good, good, sir. You seem to have underestimated our, our jester's abilities here. A little bit of healing. A little bit of healing ain't hurt nobody no how. Hopefully not. Oh, wow. Ooh. That was painful. Holy shit. All right, you need to die. You need to die immediately. You... You have become my worst fear. Uh, let's... Let's buff that up a touch, and then we're probably gonna have to campfire after this, because Jesus Christ, that hurt a lot. Let's debuff that son of a bitch. There we go. There's a little less damage for your ass. For your jolly ass. There we are. Flashing daggers. That's... Alright, that's not so bad. I thought she was gonna be a little worse for wear after that. We can pray, though. Ooh, she's marked. Let's take out the damage dealer before we can capitalize on that, I guess. Good bleed. Okay, if we get a harvest to land here... Oh, my God! The greater the glory. Jester! My man! Killing it for us here. Oh, that would have been a kill for sure. All right, let me land with the Hellion first, or this. suppose we could stand a healing opportunity. Good one, good one. All right, Jester's looking fine, and we get the kill. With the crit strike to boot! Perhaps the turning point. Bitchin'! Okay, I don't really need to make space for this stuff, but I want to, but it's fine. Grain! Hooray, we had to make stuff, space for it. Anyway, hoorah. All right, let's campfire now. Get that health back up. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Let's see. Not a lot of stress, so I can take this opportunity to, uh, well, actually, tell you what, we should look at her camping skills. We should maybe go with Battle Trance? That's an accuracy buff, not really that great, although we do have a lot of monsters uh, of a size of two or higher in this dungeon, so... Battle Trance actually sounds kind of good, and Sharpen Spear. And we don't need anything from her, let's go with Tiger's Eye, perhaps. Uh, let's have a look at what he's got here. Yeah, Tiger's Eye is probably going to be what we go with. Let's do that on... let's give that to the Hellion too, yeah, let's super buff the Hellion, I guess. Increase his stress, and then we can do, like, some encouragements to, again, super buff the Hellion. And I wish I could turn back time. That would be perfect, but oh well. Oh, we can do an encourage now, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's change this to encourage. And we get two left, and we are going to do this for the occultist. Down to two stress, and everything's fine. 
Could potentially see a fight out of this campfire, but I'll live with it. I think we're in great shape. I think we have a mega buff Hellion on the loose. Oh, and they got us. Oh, they got us on the campfire. All right. We've endured worse. We get ambushed by a large flesh eater and an insatiable ghoul. That's sort of terrifying. I think I need to focus all of my damage on the ghoul off the start. Let's weaken him first. Potentially reduce the accuracy as well. That's fantastic. Please miss the howl. Okay, at least didn't crit. That's fine. That is something we can live with. I just gotta keep Bray alive. I gotta remember that the entire idea behind this uh, mission right now is to keep Bray alive no matter what, basically. Oh, uh, I'd like to move her forward if I can here. Let's go ahead and do that. And then he can just battle ballot his way to victory for the rest of this. That's fine, that's fine. Don't mind too much about that. Uh, yep, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start buffing the hell out of these folks, and then we can Shadow Fade to potentially get the Hellion even closer to the front. Oh, I was hoping for the stun there. That's not a decent... Or, uh, yeah, it's not a decent chance to stun, but it is a chance all the same. Tentacle Devour. Alright, so he can deal some damage. That is a little frightening. Wow, good hit. Good hit and good bleed. That's what I'm looking for. Nice. Alright, the ghoul is down. Begin targeting the flesh eater. Landing those debuffs with some pretty, uh... Oh, okay. Oh, she is ready. She is ready to lay the hammer down. That didn't really help that much, but whatever. Very nice. Trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. All right, so I have a feeling the last grain is going to be here. The light, the promise of safety. But I do want to at least give us the chance to find it in this lone bag. It's not there. All right. Let's just go ahead and waltz through the rest of this hallway. Double back. Probably going to be in that room. If I had to venture a guess. Wouldn't it be fitting to explore nearly the entire dungeon? In this, the leveling of Bray concluded. Bray Bay! Let her rip! That was, like, very close to Beyblade. Almost sponsorship levels close. Surprise the enemy. Oh, what fun. Let's go ahead and buff the shit out of everybody, considering we're no longer in the pitch black of night here. You can stand for a heal, too. Oh, the maximum amount. Wow. Not a bad start. Especially now. He is nearly dead, and we can probably get a double kill here with some flashing daggers if we're lucky enough. I uh, didn't get the crit. Okay. Still, though, they're pretty much gone. Resist the pull. Very good. And this might get him. Booyah! It's a straight-up booyah I just let out. I ain't ashamed of it. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. All right, dumping off the keys, taking that gold, and we are covered in mold. Very good. Make our way through. We're not getting the scouts we're wanting here. I do have holy water. Purification and a buff and, oh, just some stress relief, actually. All right, that works. Keep forgetting what those things do. I never see them anymore. Oh, nasty. We got the surprise. Okay, that is a freaking relief, because these dudes might be trouble. Let's target the Heaver first. He might be the biggest issue. I'm going to keep... Oh, the dodge and the crit. That would have been so good. I'm keeping Bray alive at all costs here. That's what I need to focus on. I cannot hit the... Uh, what well, can Dirk stab? No, I can't even do that. Okay, so he's definitely going to roll with the Battle Ballad here. And I can't... Hit the heaver with anything. Shoot. How about a yop? What's this looking like? 165 against 95 and 120. Decent enough to go for it. I just got a crit strike yop with a double stun. Holy shit. And the kill with the dagger. Oh my goodness, that makes me so happy. I'm so happy right now. I'm so proud of this team. They came together when they really needed to. And they did it! They did it as a team! With the crit damage and the bleed and the... Ah! Oh, a tear to my eye. An actual tear to my eye, because that's what I've been conditioned to do when that feeling comes around. 
Ah, screw it, Battle Ballad. Keep it up, buddy. Triple buffs all the way across the sky. Good debuff as well. Another fool for the fire. Shadow Fade? Yeah, Shadow Fade. Why not? Ah, I didn't get the stun. Oh, well. If it bleeds, make it so. Oh, just kidding. Oh, my God. Yeah, buddy. There he is. Down for the count. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. All right, well... I don't think I need any more shovels, and the holy water chance is pretty unlikely, so let's take these crests, we'll do that. Take this thing. Contents of mine, hooray! Another giant-ass stack of gold here. We have to make two spaces for it, which is... Uh, accommodations I am not keen on. Let's dump off the portraits here, and I do want to keep this, so I'm just gonna dump off 250 gold for the sake of it. I could have taken 100 and filled up that stack if I were smart, but... We all know we need to, you know, pass up on that speculation. Just unwarranted at this point. Okay, I think we're gonna make it through this hall. We don't have enough food to uh, survive another activation there, so... Here's hoping we didn't miss it somewhere over this way, which I'm pretty sure didn't happen. We have been getting a lot of surprise attacks here. My god, not that I'm complaining or anything. I'll take it. I will happily take it. Especially with that! Yes! Alright, Cutthroat needs to go down. I think we can do a harvest to finish him off. If we're lucky. There we go! Get the bleed started in him, too. Yeah! Yeah, the blood letter going down. Stack it up. Six per round. Gotta love it. Oh, don't crit me! Thank you! Thank you, you beautiful soul! That's gonna do it. Oh my god, look at that. Ten damage per round on that bleed. That is sick. And the crit to finish the day! This team! This team is going places. I love it. I'm just gonna play a song just to fake him out and kill with the Shadow Fade. How satisfying it is. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Alright, so I think I can dump off pretty much everything that I don't need here. I'm gonna take all the goodies. The form of the gold. I need one slot for the other grain here, so I gotta keep that in mind. Eat all that food, take the uh we'll take the crests, I guess, and then the citrine can go in here. Won't take the portraits. And here's the final food stuff crate. We dot it. We dot it, boys! It's done. It's over. Our supplies are replenished. The soldiers will feast tonight. We've survived with Bray, and it looks like she has achieved legend status, along with a few positive quirks here. Early riser hard noggin? Mercurial. We really are gonna have to get rid of that, but all the same. The deed is done. I remember days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. We did it, boys and girls. All check marks achieved. Look at all those legends. The legends of the YouTube hoo 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 state. What a glorious sight. I love it. Well, thanks for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon, ladies and gentlemen. Might be holding off now until we get some more content here in the game. Of course, we got the Cove and the Darkest Dungeon all in the way, as well as a couple new character classes, so still plenty of Darkest Dungeon down the road, but right now, I think we put a pause, and we say, see you next time in Darkest Dungeon.